welcome back to this house of fashion hope you have a wonderful day today's episode is going to be on how to make an off shoulder cape using this fabric this is the first thing and here is the main fabric for the cape the suitable fabric kind for this style is a satin fabric as you can see it on the picture but here i'm making it of these two fabric to make the illustration on how to do the cape so the first thing you need to do here is to take measurement of the shoulder where you want your cape to start from and where you want it to end so so after leaving four inches off for the up shoulder this is where i want my cape to start from and this is where i want it to end you can see this is 36 inches you can see so the 36 inches I'm taking it from here so this is the widest of this now is 37 inches with the same allowance you can see so here the length of this is 2 years 26 inches it depends on how full you want the pleat to be but here I'm making it of 2 yards and 26 inches then I'll be using this to make a pleat around this so let me show it to you to see what I'm talking about since I'll be making use of this to make a pleat at both sides here is the first one so i'll be using this other edge to make a pleat around this area too so the wideness of this facing and this fabric they are not the same this is six inches and this is seven inches the reason why i made this to be six inches is that when you are, by the time you are turning it so that the facing will not be showing under the main fabric that's why i have to this the wideness so now i'll be making the pleats now at the second edge here now i'm done with the plate at both sides you can see the next thing that i mean here is to turn into the right part the length of this now the wideness of this is not constant it depends on how wide you want yours to be so now i'll be turning this to the right part then i'm going to iron it just to make it neat so by the time i iron it out you see how beautiful the cape is going to be now this is how it turns out after turning into the right part so for you to close this area now this is how you're going to close it just fold it in a little bit you now we have a sewing allowance at initial so just fold it a little bit in you can see then i'm going to stitch you see then i'll stitch it so the same thing applicable to this other side too and that is what i'll be doing now and then i'm going to show you yes and that is what i've done here you can see now the next thing that we mean here is to style it here is the finished work so far you can see it you can see how beautiful it is so the length depends on where you want it to reach you can try to increase the length more than this and the fullness depends on the fabric you are using if you make it of a satin fabric it will be more full than this you know the satin is thicker than this tapita fabric so by the time you make it of a thicker fabric the pleat will be more full than this you can see so as you can see the facing is showing under it so if you want yours to be perfect make sure you reduce the facing by two that is if you are making use of length seven inches 
make sure the, uh, the facing is 5 inches so when you do that by reducing it by 2 inches the, the facing will not be showing at the edges so to attach this on an off shoulder dress you have to place this you can see so you have to place it at where you want it to start from place it this way then then you stitch so the same thing applicable to the other side here you also place then you stitch stitch it straight straight down you can see so this is how it's going to be so if you like this tutorial so far make sure you subscribe to my channel so make sure you share it to others to benefit from this see you in my next tutorial bye